right, we're rolling. Um, we have to re-record this because our last one, the microphone wasn't loud enough, and now we're blasting the red bar thing. Yeah, um, maybe we'll pick up some ghosts in this house. <laughs> That's crazy. If you hear anything, you know, just let me know, because, you know, this house is haunted, so. Yeah, he smokes a lot of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from drugs. Um, last video, when we had the microphone too low, we were, I was explaining how I had a bulletproof vest that I got on eBay for 60 bucks or 70 bucks, and it's from 1983, so I was a little unclear on if this would actually be bulletproof, and it also says on the ballistic panels, not ballistically sound, which also scared me a little. I need a refresher. Let's put a refresher, Pope Wintergreen in. Hell yeah, best tip ever. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, today we were over at Brett's uh, parents' house, where his grandparents are right now, and Tim, Brett's stepdad, got his guns out. We had his 22 long rifle, automatic, or semi automatic, and we had his 12 gauge shotgun out. I was impressed with both things on the vest because the first one, the 22, got stuck in the front, in the first panel of the two panels on the front and the back. You get two panels for the front, two panels for the back. It got stuck in the first panel each time for the front and the back. And the second thing, I was scared out of my mind, considering we were thinking about wearing the vest and then getting shot at. Um, <laughs> the second one with the 12 gauge shotgun blew right through both ballistic panels of the back, which was crazy. Well, I guess it wouldn't. It's supposed to withstand handgun, uh, small handguns, not. 12 gauge shotguns, but yeah, it blew through both panels the first time because the shell was stuck in a tree. Um, the second time, we put all four panels, two from the front and two from the back, up against each other and shot it with the 12 gauge. It got stuck. It went through two of them and got stuck in the third one and barely and dented the fourth one a little bit, which was pretty impressive considering the freaking 12 gauge shotgun against four ballistic panels that. One of them, is, or two of them, is supposed to stop a 9mm, but three of them, or four of them, can stop a 12 gauge shotgun, which is impressive. From maybe, what, 10 feet? I, yeah, 10 or 15 feet we were shooting at it. I think it was only about 10 feet. Yeah. So 10 feet blew right through three of them. Well, two of them, and got stuck in the third one almost all the way through. So I think the house has to be set back. 15 feet from the boundary line. Yeah, he was a couple feet out from the house. Yeah. These are the two 12 gauge shotgun shells. And I actually have, we pried the, uh, the bullet, like the actual metal part out of the, the ballistic panel. It mushroomed right inside the panel. Very impressive for a 1983 freaking bulletproof vest. Especially considering it says not ballistically sound. Yeah, so I don't know what the guy's eBay's name is. Maybe my next video I'll mention him. He's a good good seller. Made a mistake, but he's fixing that for me, and then everything will be good. He sent me the wrong size panels, and they also said not ballistically sound. But he says he'll fix that. He'll get me out some new panels, I guess. Ah, a white carrier, which makes me happy because I don't like the black ones. Pretty, pretty nice thing with the Velcro straps. I'm pretty small, in, uh, like chest-wise, but I'm real tall, so I need a, a longer one, which is what he's going to send me. But yeah, I'm dipping Red Seal straight, which is pretty good. You get 1.5 ounces, I think. Yeah. 1.5 ounces for 209 NPA. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good 25% more in a tin than a usual tin of any other brand and it's really it's a little fine cut but it's really sweet which I like um, yeah what are we talking about in the last video mm. Mm. oh Jesse Van Torre we just got done watching his conspiracy theory uh, TV series. And he's talking about uh, concentration camps and all this other crap, you know, that the government's hiding 
from us. Um, and, you know, half the shit he says, you know, is true and believable for what they're doing nowadays, you know, how corrupt our government is. And they are. Yeah, we're watching this guy. Uh, he's a cool uh, YouTube dipper. Uh, uh, yeah. Oversold. One. One. Yeah, Oversold. Oversold one. one. Check him out, you know, he's, he's really good. He does. Like his view, his dip reviews are like ours, where you talk about dip for a little bit, and then a little bit later you end up getting on a completely different subject, like yeah. a bulletproof vest. He, it, his reviews are great, though they're hilarious. He's a real funny guy. Yeah, and we're watching this about you know terrorists and concentration camps, how they're taking Jesus Christ, Brad, chill. How they're taking you know innocent people in these concentration camps nowadays for just. Uh, Expressing their their views and all that. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> but anyways, um, and he gets on the subject. I'm like, holy shit, dude! You know, he's another one. You know, talking about this shit. You know, so if you want to have a good laugh, you know, watch him. You know, he's funny and does good good reviews and that. He's a big Stokers guy. Stokers. I do a review on that. Yeah, I have to get another tub of that. I demolished my tub in about three weeks. I didn't think it was three weeks. Holy shit, dude. And we, we tested it out and it was like, uh, I think it was around, uh, oh, asked, 15 tins worth, you know? Oh, that thing. I wanted to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it. But yeah, I don't know if anybody knows about that. It's, it seems to be like a tri state area thing, the Buck Motorsports Arena. Yeah, Buck Motorsports here in PA around Lancaster. You know, check check it out. Um, he's putting the spit and dip in the condom for some reason. I was going to give it to him to show, show, show you the phone trick, but I guess he's change of mind, he's a, he's a little loony, so that better not break and go all over the place or I'm gonna fucking hit you in the head. <laughs> you just don't fuck, no, you just don't fuck, you take that off. Well, you don't gotta, you don't gotta spit it now, buddy. You're being a dumb shit. Don't spit on my rug, or I'm fucking knocking that dip right out of your goddamn mouth. Yeah, we're trying to find uh, Copenhagen Black since it just came out, but Pennsylvania, you know, is a little bit of a against that kind of shit, you know, that they ban, <laughs> they ban, uh, uh, whiskey blend because I don't know what the hell. You got yourself was. a nigger dick. <laughs> 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 Got my new spitter, it's a little lid. <laughs> you really look wrong when you went down and spit because. <laughs> but, anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna try to find that. Right now, Sheets is running a good promotion out in PA. For Skull, Redman, Longhorn, um, Grizzly, um, Copenhagen. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. I know Red Redhorn's like, uh, I mean, let uh, Longhorn, not Red Red, uh, Red Longhorn. Uh, I know they're that's like a dollar sixty nine if you buy two tins, you get it for that price. That's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna probably get some of that tamani when we go down. Um, yeah, so that's that's a good price. I think uh, it like two sixty nine, two seventy five, or something like that. Copenhagen is two sixty something, I think. Um, Grizz is two oh nine. Sausage. 
Um, yeah, just give us our comment, you know, give, we appreciate when people give comments and that shit on our videos, try to make ourselves better every time we do this. Yeah, on that note, we're going to cut this video out because we're at 10 minutes and 27 seconds, so thanks for watching, rate, subscribe, comment, subscribe, comment, whatever. Alright, see ya. See ya.